Hey everybody, how are you doing out there today? Welcome back to the Shane Man TV channel. If this looks like I'm putting kitty litter into a blender, that is exactly what I'm doing here. Today we are going to be making some green casting sand, and that is basically one part kitty litter to two parts sand. However, first we need to grind up the kitty litter so it's as fine as possible. Next, we're going to take some play sand here, and we're going to filter it out so that only the fine particles are left behind. We're going to get rid of the big chunky parts. The finer the sand and the finer the kitty litter, the more detailed castings we're going to be able to make. So once we have our two parts sand and one part kitty litter, we're going to mix them up until they are the same consistency and same color. All right, we got it all mixed together. It's all consistently one color. Now we're going to add just enough water so it begins to clump up a little bit. All right, so we got enough moisture in here. I think now that I'd ideally, what they say is it's supposed to clump up together and then snap in half, but not, not crumble. So. See how it snaps? You don't want it to crumble apart and that's, that's really solid. So I think we got this mixed just the way we want it for sand casting. So. All right, now that those four sides are together, I'm going to have to sand down a few of these joints just a little bit to make sure that they're flush. And this is the side we will put down on our table, our work table. And then this is the Eagle I got from Goodwill. It only cost a dollar and it's actually solid aluminum, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Uh, this is what we're going to try and make our first mold out of. And we'll set that into the mold face up. And I wish I would have made this just a little bit bigger. It's a little bit tight around the edges, but I think it'll be okay. Then we'll take our green sand that we just made. We'll slowly pack it on top and then tighter and tighter make that smooth we'll flip it over and our eagle will be up on towards the surface here we're going to remove our eagle and then pour our hot aluminum into it and that should make a reproduction of this eagle if all goes well here i am attempting to try and use cornstarch as opposed to baby powder because i don't have any baby powder at the house uh, we'll see how this works Maybe this is too wet. Something tells me that this mix is probably too wet because I couldn't get it to go through my strainer. Nope. It's not fine enough. All right, so what I want to do now, I'm going to cut this down because it doesn't have to be that thick and try it one more time, but I'm going to really Try and pack it in as much as I can. Oh, 
All right, let's try this again. As you can see, it pulled some of the sand up with it. That's not quite what I had in mind. Definitely must be too much moisture in the sand. So we started with this and we ended with this. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so in a nutshell, we had two major problems. One, too much moisture in the sand. I went back and watched some other videos and realized that I mixed way too much water and then I learned how to mix the correct amount. 
which I'll show you here in a minute. So right now, not only am I grinding up the kitty litter, I am putting it through two strainers and a screen to really filter out anything that is just too big to get this just as fine as possible. Then I also do the same with the sand. I filter the sand through the three screens, not once, but twice, as you'll see here. Okay, so I ran one pitcher of sand twice, and now this is the second for this one. And I really don't think I can do much more to make this stuff any finer other than grinding up the sand. I don't want to do that to the blender. All right, now we're just gonna lightly sprinkle this with water and mix it up till we get to the right consistency. That was the biggest problem I had is I put way too much water in the mix. All right, everyone, I think we are pretty much there. If you look at this. Very loose sand. But if you grab it, the big test for this stuff, they say, is to grab it, squeeze it hard, will it clump together, and then will it snap? And it does all that. And it doesn't really want to stick to my hand. That's another good sign. So I think we finally have this to the right consistency that we can finally get ready to set up for our mold. Okay, now the next test is to see if you can actually feed this through. And that looks pretty good actually. Oh, shoot. Well, I like the way it fell apart. That's good. Okay. Okay. See that? Got dirt stuck right in the damn neck. Okay, so I pounded on this for quite a while. I'm hoping this is it. Two, one. Please, Lord, make this work. All right. All in all, not bad. That one is probably the best one so far. Thank you, Lord. Okay. All right, let's go heat up some aluminum and make a casting. I tell you, that is, that is unbelievably hard to cut. I couldn't believe how hard that was to cut. Maybe the brand new cutter is not worth the crap, but Anyway, I think I can melt that down like that.
Not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Maybe you could have tried something that was a little less... Uh... Detailed? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. All right, so guys, here's the final product. Just kidding. Here it is. It's still actually pretty warm. But not bad, really not bad. I'm pretty happy with it overall. I started doing a little bit of sanding on it. If I used a Dremel on it, I think we could probably get more of the details to come through. But overall, not bad for a first time. And here is the, uh, the mold, and it should go right back into the container, just like that. And then I'm gonna use, put it in here, seal it up, and reuse it for the next mold, so. Well guys, a lot of trial and error, a lot of mistakes, a lot of learning learning going on, but uh, I still hope you enjoyed the video. I had a good time making it. Well, take care everybody. We will see you at the next dumpster. Peace out and have a great rest of your week.